Today we'll be creating a Discord bot that can join servers and reply to messages. So the first thing we're going to need is Node.js. So go ahead and download and install that. Next, we need Visual Studio Code. When that's done, we'll open it up. Select File, Open Folder. Right click, new folder, and we'll name this whatever we want. Let's open the terminal, we'll click view, integrated terminal, type npm init, and then we'll just press enter to create our project with the default settings. Then we're going to click new file and name it index.js. For packages, we'll type npm install discord.js dash dash save. To begin writing our code, we'll go to the index.js file, starting by importing our new package. And then we're going to need to create a new instance of the Discord client. Now, if you don't already have a server to add your bot to, you'll want to go ahead and create one. Now you're going to need to go and register your bot by going to the developer page for Discord. Once you're there, you'll click on My Apps, and then click New App. Then we're going to go ahead and give it a name. And then we're going to select Create App. And once we're on the bot configuration page, we're going to want to add a new bot user so we can join Discord servers. And we'll go ahead and grab our API token. We're going to copy this and save it for later. Now we're going to write the login function so that we can connect to the server. And we're going to go ahead and paste that API key that we copied. Now in order for your bot to actually connect to the server, you're going to need authentication by the server owner. Um, this can be kind of complicated, but they, Discord provides a nice little calculator that will go ahead and create the link for you. Now once we're on that page, um, our bot right now is going to need that many uh, permissions, so we're just going to select some of the basic ones here. Now we're going to need our client ID, and you can copy that from the bot configuration page. The link it's going to go here and generate for us can be used to add the bot to any server, so long as you have permissions to do so. Select the server that we just created. And then we're going to go ahead and authorize that bot to join our server. And as you can see, it's been added as a member to the server. Now currently when our bot receives a message, it doesn't do anything. Um, so to change that, we're going to say that when we get a message, we're going to pass in a function to be called. And you'll see the only parameter that we're going to need for this callback is the message object. 
To reply to a message, we'll use the reply function. Passing in what our bot is going to reply back. This is great and all, but the one problem is it will reply to all messages, including itself. So, to prevent that, what we're going to do is make it only reply to messages where the bot is mentioned. Otherwise, you're just going to have the bot spamming up the server with thousands of messages replying to itself, which right now is not what we want. Now, to prevent that, we're going to check if the bot has been mentioned, and then we'll reply with a message. So, we'll go ahead and get rid of that first thing that we wrote. To start our bot, we're going to go ahead and type node space index.js into the console. Going back to our server, you'll see what happens if you don't have that check. It'll just spam hello world infinitely. So now it's not doing that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mention the bot now and you'll see that it actually replies perfectly. 